Hey, look out! Look at this idiot. Hey! Hey! Alright guys, so tomorrow is the King of the Owl fishing tournament, kayak fishing tournament. Captain's meeting is right here at the Redfish Bluefish in about an hour. And I'm early and I'm going to hit the bar. So this is a pretty new kayak fishing tournament. It's kind of like the extreme tournament, but Pensacola Beach style. It's going to be a lot of good anglers here. I never broke a hook on a frog. I broke a hook on a shark. I never broke a That's the one thing. Um, did everybody get a raffle ticket that registered? All right, captain's meetings check. I got my bag, I'm number 42, I think. Yep. Competition looks stiff. So I just pulled up here at the bait shop because I think they're gonna be out in the morning and I don't wanna waste time. I wanna go ahead and get on the water, so I'm gonna to try to pick up a one pound box of cigar minnows right now before they run out, because I think everybody's, I think everybody else has got the same idea. All right guys, so it's 5.24, I'm about to head out already got bait. In fact, I almost forgot it. I gotta go get it. And it's gonna be an epic sunrise, so pretty pumped. All right guys, just pulled onto Pensacola Beach and the wind is kicking, yellow flag. It's like a north northeast at like it says 10 to 15 but i'm betting 15 to 20 while these the way these uh flags are moving but there is nothing better than to get to pensacola beach and roll the windows down it's the smell just pulled up at the snorkel reef check out the sunrise oh and just got here too there's already people out there. Time to hit it! Yeah. Alright guys, we're making the pull. The sun's coming up. A tad late, but we couldn't fish until 6.30 and it's like... 6 30 so jimmy's out there david's out there so it's gonna be four of us fishing together and uh check out the sunrise because kayak fishing don't do it by yourself no matter who no matter how who you are because you always need something you always need support catch a sailfish you gotta have somebody catch take a picture of it especially in this tournament it's gotta be time stamped so, you know, that's the fun of it. And if you turtle, somebody helps you. It's a lot more fun than by yourself. I like to talk a lot of crap and laugh and giggle because that's what it's all about. I'm not out here to prove anything, I'm just here to have fun. Some dudes take it real serious. Samantha got the uh, rope caught in the rod drive. Didn't notice it until now. All right, finally on the water. Last time I was in this thing, Samantha used it. And nothing works. Not blaming her. I'm just saying. Coincidence. So we got like, it's like 10 to 15 right now. Mile an hour winds. It's flat calm, and I can see a little stuff starting to churn up. My idea is to fish 
cigar minnows because one, I didn't bring a bait tank. I forgot it. I've lost it. I don't know where it is. So, I'm going to head out here to the transition line and start fishing because nothing beats a cigar minnow. I'm just telling you. A frozen cigar minnow. People will uh, doubt me on that, but it's the cheapest, easiest way that you can just start fishing. And it opens up the door to a tuna, a mahi, things that aren't going to hit a big, fast hardtail. Or, um, but if you can find a live cigar minnow, that's good. I'm just saying, pocket full of cigar minnows, and you can put a dent in the world. That's what I'm talking about. I just got my first bait out. I'm using some cigs. Show you. See, that's what I'm using. Got it from the bait shop. Put the biggest one out there first. As you can see right now, like. The shoreline is over there. I'm almost paddling towards the shoreline to keep with the current. I'm gonna be at Portofino fast. So, you know, the goal out here is to just almost do a figure eight. You gotta keep adjusting your depth back and forth. And uh, that's how you run up on some of these. I call them wolf packs because that's how they, they hunt like wolves nose in the in the current i see a bird diving over here but uh it's how kings they hunt with their nose in the wind so you got to keep changing your where you are on the beach to try to run into them and i got a, i got one got that sig down pretty deep probably maybe a quarter ounce half ounce worth of weight and uh let the big dog eat baby I think it's a Spanish. Big Spanish. Come here to me. Come on, baby. First fish in the boat. Come on. It's the biggest doggone Spanish mackerel on the planet. I got a fish. All right, he's eating up my my wire leader early though. Check this bad boy out. Look at him. Nice one. Hey, quit quit moving around. Check it out. The trailer hook got him. The trailer hook got him. stud Spanish another stud Spanish that's what I was looking for now I got two studs I need a king and I think I'm gonna be good in the collegiate category that's the three it's either a Ramora or a Spanish should join the Ramora division big Spanish Come here to me. Come on, baby. First fish in the boat. Come on. My mirage drive is not acting right. It will not click in the spot. Will not click in. Just got me a cigar minnow, but I also caught myself. Look at this idiot. Hey! Hey! Hey, look out! Hey, look out! Dude, 
Mary blew right through the snorkel reef. Right now that is careless. There's two dudes snorkeling right there, and this dude just blew through the entire snorkel reef. Look at this. Whoever that scuba instructor is, dive master, he had like five tanks on the back and some spear guns. Whoever that dude is needs to have his captain's license revoked. I'm straight up calling that one. He didn't even see those snorkelers. So I saw this guy coming from down the beach way back there and he was like maybe 100 yards off the beach just outside the break and he came all the way down the beach and I was like, all right, he doesn't see these guys. So I started yelling and screaming, waving at him and pointing at the, the down divers. And I don't even think the snorkel guys saw them until they're getting waked out. The dude came with like 15 feet of the snorkelers, full throttle, straight through the snorkel reef and then peeled off. And it was like, seriously, waked everybody out. Well, I've rationalized there's a good chance I'm not gonna win this tournament, but there is one thing. I will beat them to the bar and I will beat them to football because it's Saturday and college football is about to start. So, I'm going to give it a good, another good lap here and I'm going to go get something to eat. That's fact. The water's crystal clear. There's no current. It's slack. I think I'm heading in. I don't want the fish I got already to spoil. So, I think I'll see you guys at weigh in. Stud remora. This is the end of the day when these guys set in. I guess it's about that time. Yeah. I should have entered the trash fish section. called it a day. I got three Spanish, two big ones, one little one, no kings, and one huge remora, which I took, which I let go. And I'm waiting on Olin to get back over here so we can head out. The water feels awesome. Awesome. But college football starts here in a minute. It's 12 o'clock. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I think I've had enough of fishing for the morning. Got here at five, got here at six, 15-ish, and I fished until 12. So I think that, that will suffice. Also, those two guys almost died. Well, got a cooler full. Check it out, got some tails there. If you're ever on Pensacola Beach and you need ice, twice the ice right there, $1.50. Don't try to go to the store and get it. You can get a huge bag for $1.50. I love these things. All right, just pulled up here at the uh, weigh-in spot. Plenty of parking spots. Almost didn't come because I thought it was going to be too full. Kayaks. All right, got a new angler here. Got one. First king, 8.2, 8 8.2. Like, you're gonna get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody gets a trophy, you know. Stud. I think it's big. That's a stud fish. That's a big. All right, guys, so. Without a doubt, I enjoyed my time at the King of the Isle Fishing Tournament. I think everybody did. Keith Morrison did an awesome job. And uh, hopefully they do it again next year. We had like 60 anglers. It was a great time, a lot of good prizes. There was some really good fish caught. It was like two humongous blackfin tuna. I think 125 and 133. It's nuts. I had a feeling though with that wind doing what it was doing that, that somebody's gonna run into a tuna. 
sadly it wasn't me. But I had the hooks pulled on a couple nice kings. It just wasn't my day. So I want to say congratulations to Derek Todd with 49.8 pounds. It's pretty epic. That is a good showing. He showed up to fish, let me tell you. But there were some great anglers there. We had a great time. The drinks were good. The view was awesome. So next year, if you, if you haven't heard about it, look it up. Pensacola, Florida, King of the Isle, Keith Morrison on Facebook. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you were there, and I'll see you guys later.